Welcome back, everybody. Great to have you with us this week in America online, thisweekinamerica.us. The delightful book, Will, Will, and Me, Eight Amazing Stories About Two Special Friends, is receiving excellent reviews. Eight fictional stories about the amusing actions of grade school boys Will, Will, and his pal Johnny in the 1950s and 60s. Will, Will, and Me is written by John Highland, born in Belvedere, Illinois, following his desire to teach English. John earned a B.A. from Wartburg College and an M.A. from the University of Nebraska and a Ph.D. from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. He served in the U.S. Army, spent a number of years teaching at the college level. Remedial and standard composition classes were his specialty, along with world literature. A successful career as a freelance writer and developer of writing workshops. Now retired, John enjoys producing comic fiction, including his 2015 book, Ginger and Alice, a story of two mischievous gerbils. The author of Will, Will, and Me, John Highland, our guest on This Week in America. John, welcome to the program. Great to have you with us today. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed being with you. Well, I tell you, I really enjoyed having the chance to read the book, and you do an afterword in the book, and you sort of talk about how this all began. And you say, but basically, nostalgia is what, uh, what started this whole process for the book. Uh, my desire to uh, remember all of the good things that happened to me, the things I had fun doing in grade school, and I knew that uh, all of that colorful material would be a good uh, start starting point for uh, comic fiction, and it all uh, resulted in uh, Will, Will, and Me. Yeah, and it's interesting how you went about developing the characters. There really wasn't one specific character. What You had three or four friends, and you sort of put all of the characters, characteristics together and came up with Will, Will. Right. I took all of their um, amusing things that they did and combined them and uh, made that the basis of the main character, Will, Will the one that uh, does most of the mischievous uh, work, uh, things in the, in the book. And his partner in crime going along with this is Johnny, and I understand Johnny was basically you back in the day. It is basically me, but uh, it's a fictional version of me. It's not my exact uh, uh, report of what I did, uh, really. Yeah, the book was set back, is set back in the, uh, the 1950s and 60s. Talk about that, because there was certainly a great relationship between what happened in the book and what happened in your real life. I'm sure a lot of memories came back as you were writing Will Will and Me. Oh, yeah. They all come back. They pop back <laughs> into my mind, and then uh, I uh, translate them into the, uh, into the fiction of the, of the book. The, interest, the, the title character is interesting, Will, Will, and Me. And it's so difficult when you talk about a book like this. You don't want to give too much away. But Will, Will, you, you go into the book in the detail on the name, and you actually had a friend who, who had the nickname Will, Will as you were growing up. Well, his name was Willie Fordyce. Uh, but he really wasn't uh, that much of a mischief maker. But uh, I liked his uh, name so well that uh, I took his name and used that as the, uh, the name of the main character. And in the book, Will, Will, and Me, Will, Will, you described as, in the book, as he had brains, but he, he didn't use them right. He used them less for school and more to get into different adventures, didn't he? Right. I say that he do, detoured uh, his <laughs> mind. <laughs> and that's exactly what, of, uh, yeah, that's exactly what Will, Will got into. Uh, talk about some of the escapades. I mentioned this is basically eight amazing stories about two special friends, Will Will and his, his buddy, his pal Johnny. Talk about some of the different escapades, adventures that he gets into, and they all flow very nicely in the book. So just when you think, okay, he's, he's going to turn his life around now and not get into trouble, not get into a, a situation again, he's right back in it again. What are some of the, uh, the escapades that he gets into? Well, the most interesting escapade was the uh, one that occurred in uh, the second story called uh, Butterfly Collecting Can Be Dangerous. Yes. Where uh, Will, Will and Johnny uh, had such a, a lot of success catching butterflies, various kinds. But then Will Will wanted to do something better. He wanted to, uh, to snag a, a goose, a goose that was a pet of, uh, of a farmer. <laughs> and he, he snagged the goose, and then uh, the farmer caught him and tried to uh, get him to explain exactly why he did it. But uh, Will Will told a lie to the farmer, and the farmer got upset, and he, uh, he blistered Will Will. And to make matters worse, he, he grabbed Johnny and gave him a whipper, too. And the story ends by uh, Johnny saying, uh, Will Will, that was a, a terrible lie. 
The world says, no, it wasn't really a lie, it was just an exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> and there is a fine line between a lie and exaggeration. The book we're talking about is called Will, Will, and Me. John Highland, right. H-Y-L-A-N-D, is the author. The book's available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can go to bookventure.com slash bookstore and get information. Of course, log on to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and get that information as well. I mentioned this background that you had. You've, it seems like you've always been interested in writing. When did this actually start for you? Pardon me? When did this actually start for you, the interest in, in writing? This goes back to, uh, to your childhood when you were interested in reading and writing. Right. When, how did that get started? When did you decide, I really would like to pursue this. I would like to be able, I, I like reading these books, and I'd like to be able to write some myself. When I actually started uh, deciding to, to write it. Yeah, and, when did, um, yeah, not necessarily Will Will and Me, but when you decided, I'd like to, I'd like to be a writer. I would like to, to write stories that will entertain people. That started probably uh, in the 1980s uh, when I was uh, writing all kinds of uh, technical materials for uh, old colleges and uh, different companies. And uh, those were formal, impersonal, and kind of boring. So I decided to start uh, writing things that are more interesting and uh, based upon the, the good things that I did. And uh, that eventually resulted in, uh, well, that first book that I wrote, uh, Ginger, and the, uh, Ginger and Alice. And then it had uh, its major result in, in Will Will and Me. Well, yeah, and these are books that you can read. You'll enjoy them. It'll be hard not to smile as you're reading these books. The, the new book we're talking about is Will, Will, and Me. It's interesting. You, you have a special edition of Will, Will, and Me. Uh, talk a little bit about that, and we'll get into some of your writing rules and how uh, the challenges you have in putting together stories like this that, uh, that flow properly and are descriptive and, and entertaining as well. Right. Yeah, what the main thing is you want to write uh, sentences that are, are clear and specific and smooth flowing. And uh, you don't have to, uh, to stop and wonder, well, what's this next sentence mean? And as the sentences uh, roll along and provide you with information, uh, they have to be uh, colorful and have to uh, create uh, vivid uh, mental pictures in the, uh, the minds of the people that uh, read about scenery or read about the appearance of characters, or they want to make sure that they, uh, they know exactly what the characters are saying, and they want to imagine that they're hearing the characters speak in imaginary ways, but uh, in ways that ordinary guys would, uh, would be talking about. How challenging is it to do that? You just told us basically rule number one, John Highland's writing rules, and it sounds simple, but how often do you go back when you have several paragraphs and, and reread and rework those paragraphs so that you are concise and colorful at the same time? I go back very uh, many times. I'm, uh, I revise it several times and, and make sure that everything is, is exactly right. But it seems like I've, I've got the ability to, to write that kind of uh, material. And that goes way back to uh, all the early years when I... Uh, I first started majoring in English, and that uh, developed in all kinds of different kinds of writing. And uh, but the writing that I did in the past, uh, the technical writing, uh, was not nearly as uh, as meaningful to me as uh, the personal writing that involves uh, comic literature. Yeah, and I would think that in in looking at the at the resume, and I mentioned uh, all of the writing. It seems like throughout your entire life, no matter what it is, you're writing something that probably all of those experiences come into play as you're writing something like Will, Will, and Me. As you're doing the, uh, the technical, again, you have to be very precise. You cannot use a whole lot of flowery, uh, flowery language. You have to really get that, the point across. I, I assume that all of the background comes into play as you're writing something like Will, Will, and Me. Yep, the background just kind of uh, enters right in. I don't know why. It's a good instinct I have, I guess. Well, and talk about the, the narrating action. There's a lot of action here. I mentioned the escapades. The, the boys go from, from one situation to another. Talk about writing that and narrating that so we have a sense of what they're getting into. And you do an excellent job by picking the right words and phrases so that we can sort of follow along. We can visualize what they're going through. Well, that's the main thing. It's really successful uh, literature if uh, people that read the book 
uh, can actually see it and imagine that they're right there uh, observing what's going on. In one of the stories, the slingshot story, it's interesting. And I want to talk about that transformation. And throughout the book, you've got what you can almost describe as sort of goofy annex that Will Will and, and Johnny are going through. But you turn them into something that's hilarious fiction as you're reading through that. Talk about the challenges of being able to do that, to take something that's almost sort of a slapstick and turn it into something that's really hilarious as we're reading it. Yeah, that's hard to do sometimes, but uh, I might say that on uh, the uh, book that deals with uh, the slingshots, uh, that's the most uh, of my past experience in grade school that, uh, that I had to put into these books. I did so much with uh, making those little hairpin slingshots that uh, <laughs> it, uh, it constitutes most of what's in the book. That's interesting that you can go back and draw on those memories. The, the book we're talking about is Will, Will, and Me. John Highland is the author, our guest on This Week in America. Highland is H-Y-L-A-N-D. If you're looking for information on the book, it's at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Book Venture. You can link on directly by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Talk about the, the pictures in the book as well, because they really add to the, to the story. We visualize what's going on, and that visualization is assisted by seeing the, the pictures. We feel like we know the characters, Will, Will, and, uh, and Johnny. Uh, talk about getting the right pictures, uh, the artist who did that for you, and, and how you need to coordinate all of that so you, you all send a, a single message. Okay, well, I, I picked a, a a special lady that could do those kinds of pictures, Eldora Larson, her name is. And the kind of pictures that she makes, uh, they're uh, really amazing and kind of hokey because uh, the pictures of the people doing things uh, are a little bit out of proportion and a little bit zigzagged on the, uh, the outline. Yes. But that's all uh, something that, that's amazing and should really catch the attention of the people that are reading the book. And it fits in with the, uh, the kind of material that uh, I discuss. That's uh, fascinating, but uh, in many cases, uh, preposterous. You know, John Highland, our guest on the program, author of Will, Will, and Me, and other books that we're talking about on the program today. You are a runner, will run even several times a day, multiple days out of the week. You, you enjoy bicycling as well. Is that a good time for, for an author where you're sort of by yourself, where you can get in your imagination? Is that think time for you? Well, it's, it's helpful because... Uh, if you're writing and you get uh, exhausted and your mind is kind of, uh, oh, getting tired, yes. you go out and do something like that, ride a bike or take a little bit of a run, and then you can come back and, and your mind seems to be uh, vivid and uh, active again. Now, I mentioned some of the, the rules that you have in writing, and, and you talk about that in the special edition of Will, Will, and May. I, I would think as I'm reading these, yeah, it's great for what you're doing and probably something that all of us should be aware of. As you, What's the status of writing today? It's sort of abbreviated because of social media, that, that type of thing. Uh, how effective are we as, as writers today? If you were teaching a college class today in writing, composition, how different would it be than from when you actually taught it a few years ago? Well, the uh, writing that I taught when I was a college instructor... Uh, didn't have to worry about people uh, sitting there with uh, cell phones or exactly. computers. And they actually had to write things out and make sure that uh, everything was uh, properly arranged as far as a wording and everything had to be uh, clear and precise and interesting. And uh, they had to think and they had to, uh, to do it thoroughly. They didn't have to just uh, push the buttons on their uh, or little device they had in their hands and uh, and right now it seems like uh, people are losing that ability because uh, they're doing too much texting and they're really not concerned about uh, being uh, writing in every uh, responsible, uh, acceptable way. At one point you wrote a book, uh, Business Letters, a No-Nonsense Guide to Writing and Revising Them. What's the status of business letters? Do even people do business letters anymore? Some of them do, but, uh, but not as much as uh, they did uh, when I wrote that book, uh, you, you never saw that because I didn't send that in. But that dealt with uh, writing that was done uh, in the 1980s. And that was and, really uh, at that time. 
Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, at that point, you had one shot to make that impression, and that was a business letter. And I can remember sitting and reading it out loud and going back through that. Those really were crucial at the time, weren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were. But at that time, uh, when I wrote that book, uh, Business Letters, A No-Nonsense Guide to Writing and Revising, is what the title was? Yes. I told him to use all of the uh, the basic uh, writing materials that uh, I use uh, right now to make sure that everything was uh, logical and clear and smooth flowing in the letters and that uh, there was enough uh, colorful descriptions or explanations so people would get involved in what was being said and being more likely to uh, accept what the, uh, the business writer was telling them to do. But that's not the case anymore, it seems like. Now, John Highland, our guest in the program, we're talking about his newest book, Will, Will, and Me, following the exploits of, uh, uh, of two friends back in the 1950s and 16, uh, six days of amusing actions of grade school of friends, Will, Will, and his pal Johnny, based on a lot of uh, John's recollections from back during that period. Who were some of the influences as you were growing up in terms of, of uh, of writers that you enjoyed, because obviously they caught your attem- uh, attention, captured your imagination. Who were some of the authors that you read growing up that were influences on, on who you are today as a writer? Uh, the ones that I uh, read was, uh, oh, they were older people, uh, the ones that wrote uh, fiction quite a while ago, James Fenimore Cooper. Yes. And uh, well, he was such a good writer, and uh, I liked him so much that uh, when I earned my Ph.D. in English from uh, the University of Wisconsin-Madison, I wrote my dissertation on him and explained how uh, his writing uh, made uh, extremely good use of uh, comic techniques. And, and obviously, uh, yeah, an influence on you that we can see in the book, Will, Will, and Me. John Highland, our guest on the program, uh, uh, several minutes left at the time going by way too quickly. Talk about what you're working on now, because I'm sure in your mind you've got a lot of stories that, you, that need to be told. What are you working on now? Uh, nothing similar to uh, what's Will, Will, and Me. I'm just thinking maybe about writing a novel uh, based on the Civil War, because I'm a Civil War buff. And I've read so many things about Civil War battles that there's some that I really am interested in. Uh, like uh, the Peninsula Campaign that took place in 1862, where uh, the Federal Army was uh, right down there in Virginia and was ready to, uh, to occupy Richmond and defeat uh, the rebels right there at that time, and how that failed. But so many of the uh, soldiers in the battle suffered so much and did it extremely well, but uh, got injured or killed. And I think maybe someday that'll be uh, the basis of a, of a novel that I may write. But I'm 75 now, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to survive. You've got plenty of time to do your research and write that book, and I would be uh, really anxious to read that. I'm sure you will make that uh, uh, the whole uh, Civil War story come alive again. Our guest on the program is John Hyland. That's H-Y-L-A-N-D. The new book we're talking about is Will, Will, and Me. The book is available at all the usual places, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can go to bookventure.com slash bookstore and get information. And link on to all those places by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. John, it's been a pleasure to have you on the program. I really enjoyed having a chance to, and what a qu- childhood you had of some of these, even half these stories are accurate. Will, Will, and Me, going back to the 50s and 60s. Two best pals that go from one escapade adventure to another. Thank you for being with us on the program. Well, thank you very much for it, listening to me and making this interview. It is our pleasure. John Highland, H-Y-L-A-N-D. Our guest, the book is Will, Will, and Me. And information, of course, available at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back after these messages. <laughs> 